What is up guys? Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would show you guys what my everyday makeup look is and this is it right here. I thought I would film the intro when I looked all cute and put together because in the next clip I look a little rough. But that is what this video is for. I just wanted to show you guys all the products that I use and just kind of the steps I use and then also showed you guys just a little walkthrough about how I do my winged liner. Um, it's really good for beginners because I'm even a beginner myself. This is what I have done to, um, to get the hang of it. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. I have really been loving makeup recently. I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I thought that I would start off my little makeup themed videos um, for what my everyday is. And then after this, hopefully I'll be able to come out with some more um, crazy and fun and trendy other makeup looks that I have been trying and kind of walk you guys through it. But enough bab blabbling. <laughs> enough babbling. I'm just gonna jump right into the video for you guys. I hope you enjoy and keep on watching. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kinda strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me Alright, hello guys! So, I actually already moisturized off camera But I still wanted to show you guys what I use And it is the Pond's Moisturizer been using this guy for about three years now and it is still one of my favorites so i highly recommend and this drugstore so it's very affordable so i do just start off with that apply it all over my face and then i do like to start off with my base first so i'm going in with the all may uh, foundation this is also a drugstore this honestly this runs at 9.99 i got it at target and it is amazing so far i'm a very big fan of this foundation i honestly think i would say that this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations at the moment um it is very um watery but i do love that i feel like it's a lot easier to apply whenever it is more liquidy rather than it being a lot thicker and i just go in with my obviously damp beauty blender and i just kind of pat this all over. Okay, I mean, once I have my foundation set and I go in with concealing and contouring, so I use these two Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Sticks. This is in the shade 36, yeah. This is in the shade 36 for my contour and this is in the shade 10 for my concealer. I always like to go in first in contour so then anything, I can kind of use the concealer to clean up the edges a little bit. And kind of the motion that I do is that I just kind of do like a dot motion up my jaw, no, not jawline, cheekbone. And then I kind of bring it up around the top of the forehead, bring it back under. I like to always just start with a little bit and then you can always add more. It's just harder to remove it if you've added too much. So then once I've done the contour, I go in with my concealer and place this just in the corner up on the side and then i do top of the forehead and my chin Then I also bring it around and put it, pat it onto my eyelids so that can kind of be a um, base for my eyeshadow when I do get there. Alrighty, so on to the next step. I'm just flying through this today. So I actually will first set my face before I do my pressed powder or my loose powder. 
Um, I feel like it just kind of helps uh, my powder stick a little better and last longer throughout the day. And then I'll obviously add this at the very end of my makeup routine. But I just recently got this. I'm a very big fan. It is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Spray. It looks like that. It's e.l.f. so obviously it's very affordable. I feel like it's very hydrating and feels really nice on my face whenever I do use it. And so that's always a win. All right, so I just spray that all over. I also feel like this really helps too, doing this extra step helps my makeup just not move around as much. And especially nowadays wearing masks, you just don't, it's so easy for your makeup to slide and move and especially like on your nose and your chin. So I definitely feel like taking an extra step and applying your setting spray uh, two different times, it just helps secure it and lock it in better. But while I kind of let that set on my face, I go ahead and jump into doing my eyebrows. I don't do much for my eyebrows. Um, they are a little bit crazy right now, so I'm not gonna zoom in. <laughs> but I just use the, um, what is it? Oh, it's like, it's e.l.f. Brow Cream. I have had this forever. I honestly do need to get a new um, brow product, but I haven't really found anything. Um, if you guys have any good recommendations, definitely please let me know, know down below because my brows have always just been something that I just don't, I don't do a lot with. So I don't know, I feel like I need to do more. I also need to plug them. <laughs> Just like that, like I said, I don't really do too much for my eyebrows. I just fill them in and brush them out and move on with my day. But now, there it is. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Loving this one. I've been using this for about a few months now. I'm a really big fan, especially for it being drugstore. I have no issues with it. But I use a very little amount. I'll put it on my fluffy brush here and it off and I promise this stuff on my brush it's not anything bad it's literally just like eyeshadow that got on it and I'm just like been too lazy to clean it off so all right that is about it for that next we're gonna quickly go in and bronze and blush before I move on to my eyes um, I do use the Hulu benefit uh, bronzer and then I use Sephora's brand, it's Charmed N27. Um, it's just that brand. And when I apply my, my blush, I usually focus it more on my um, cheekbones. And then I also like to blend it up my temple and kind of onto my forehead. I feel like it just helps add a bit more color to your face instead of it just being the bronzer. All right. I always feel like I look a little bit crazy once my whole base is done. I don't like anything on my eyes. Like it's like a lot. So since this is more of like my everyday go-to look, I obviously don't wear this to work, but if I'm ever out like running errands or shopping or really need to just do anything and want to do my makeup, I keep it just very simple with just like light eyeshadow, a wing, and then lashes. Um, and I feel like it just looks really good and it's really cute for every day. But so for the brown that I use on my eyes, I actually use, I go back in with my contour powder. Um, I feel like it looks very flattering because it is the color that I already have on my face. And I feel like whenever I use it on my eyes, it's a very light, pretty brown that it just doesn't, I don't know. I feel like it just looks really good since I use it as my contour. And then when I put it on my eyes, it just kind of helps pull everything together. And this also just helps create some dimension in the eye. So I'm not just straight going in with liner and lashes because then my eyes would just look very like dead and I have no color to it. Okay, so I will try to bring you guys in just a little bit so you can more see how I do my wing. I promise you I'm not a professional when it comes to wing liner. I just started doing winged liner about like, it's been less than a year, I think like maybe six months. But, and I've been learning ever since and been kind of trying different tactics to make it look good. So I'm just gonna show you what I have been doing for that, but if I mess up, I apologize. <laughs> but I just go in, this is just your plain old Jane liquid liner, it looks like that. I do need a new one because this one is running out, but I found that this kind of 
like liner works really well for me. But anyway, so what I like to do first, I know it's, if I'm looking down, there's a mirror like right there. Um, a lot of people would either rather like start this part and then do the do the wing part. I always like doing the wing first because then if I mess up the wing, it's a lot easier to fix than like worrying about messing up everything that you've just done on your lid. So I'm gonna start on this side first. I always try, the first line is always the hardest because that's when it's really like gonna be make or break if your wing's gonna look good or not. So I just try, I just start really light and I start up here and I always make sure that my eye is more open rather than like closed because my eyelid does fold right there. And if I do it when it's closed and I open it and my wings all crick in, I have to remove it and completely start over. So I try to like keep my eye open so I know where that fold is. So I make sure I do not put my wing up there. And I always just more focus like where the point of my eye. Oh, you guys are also seeing how bad my eyebrows are. We're not gonna talk about it. But, so I try to find where the point of my eyebrow is and just kind of follow that more, point it towards the very tip of my eyebrow. Oh, it was like that. So I feel like that's the hardest part. Just getting that one line where you want. I feel like once you have that, the rest of it is honestly pretty easy. So I'll just go over it a little bit more. I told you this eyeliner is running out a lot. Okay. And then I will kind of go from the point and then bring it in. And then I'll just kind of blend it into the top of my lid. out super good and every time one turns out really good I get very nervous to do the other one <laughs> but yeah so that's about how I do it I feel like the part I really mess up a lot is honestly this part and keeping it straight and not every time like my eye wants to blink and I like mess up and do a little dot but it's really easy to fix especially because I don't really do a lot for my eyeshadow so I can just go in with a little bit of makeup remover and get that removed um, and then you're just fine so I'm not gonna talk during this next one I'm just gonna show you and then let's hope that they look somewhat similar because that's also a very big trick. pretty dang good. I'm very impressed with this. I'm really impressed with how my wing actually turned out. I feel like, you know, usually when you're like recording or trying to show somebody, it, no, don't work. So once we got that, usually for the look, I will use falsies, but I'm kind of not feeling falsies today, especially because I am trying to just do more of like my everyday look and falsies just really aren't that comfortable. And we're going like grocery shopping. We're going to go to like like a clothing store, like I'm not really doing something where I feel like I need to like be uncomfortable and have falsies on and be worried that they're like lifting and, and deal with all of that. So instead of doing the falsies, I'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes and apply some mascara. So first I'm gonna do this guy. The thing with my lashes is I have very long lashes, but they stick straight out. They hate curling. They don't naturally curl. So it's been really hard for me to honestly find mascara that works for my lashes because a lot of them, they just kind of, they make them dark, but they still just stick straight out. But I ordered this off of Amazon. It's Maybelline. Everything I use is Maybelline. Um, but it is the full and soft waterproof mascara. Looks like that. Um, it's amazing. I was honestly really like impressed with it. 
Um, I don't really have that high hopes with mascara, but this is kind of what like, I, I always like to know what the wand looks like. That's what the wand looks like. It's not very like bendy, which I love. I've used a lot of mascaras where like the wand is just all over the place and like I can't get it into my lashes without the wand moving. Um, so I'm really impressed with this mascara. I feel like it helps keep my lashes up. And then I just throw it on the bottom lash. Alrighty. And then for the, oh, before I do my lips, obviously, you go back in with the same exact setting spray I used before. Just set everything in place. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of lip liner. I, this is actually, I just recently got this and I'm a really big fan of it. It is NYX. It is in the shade Nude Shoes. Um, kind of looks like that. It's a very just like good, neutral, everyday color, which I really like. And I also love using lip liners because I do overline my lips just a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna apply this really fast. It's kind of like more of like a pinky brown than anything, but I like that I've, if it's too brown, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't look good on my lips. But anyway, I'm gonna quickly go into my hair Wow, look at that. So easy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so now that my hair is nice and beautiful, that is it for my quick everyday get ready video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'm so excited to be back and making videos. I really think I want to be making more like makeup based videos. Um, I used to make a lot of makeup videos back whenever I created my very first YouTube channel about like four years ago. Um, but I was honestly not very good. So I didn't go very far with it because I knew that I needed a lot of teaching, a lot of learning to do. Um, so now that I'm back, I've been recently playing with makeup a lot more than I used to, um, playing with some really fun like eyeshadow looks and brighter looks and um, just tr kind of trying out more trends that are in and et cetera, et cetera. So I think I'm gonna want to kind of have more videos based around that. Um, obviously there will be other videos that I like recording like cooking videos and cleaning videos and um, throw a vlog in there every once in a while, but I definitely think that I will have more of these and I'm very excited about it. But anyway, I will stop blabbing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.